Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Emily Rose. And we have a deep love for The Root. We have traveled a lot as a couple. Especially as musicians and professional pickers. But nothing gets us more excited than America's Mother Road. Join us as we hit all of your favorite spots on the Illinois stretch of Route 66. So buckle up. This This is Main Main Street Street of of America. America. Docks, just off 66 Soda Shop, and Pharmacy Lounge. Yes. We could go get ourselves an actual old soda fountain soda. I know, I've never had one before. I've never had one either. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, how are you?
right? Yeah, yeah. and it's so really cool. Well, what's it's, great, it's, it's, it's all about Route 66. Everything's about signage. Everything's about logos. And yeah, branding. Yeah, branding. branding. Yeah. Look at all these 1800s yeah. branding. Uh -huh. branding. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely incredible. Wow. Um, we also have a case back here that has tobacco, um, most of which the jars are full with tobacco, um, old uh, cigar boxes, cigars, obviously, that yeah, wow. we wouldn't recommend anyone smoking. But, um, <laughs> you know, we've got a great period cigarette machine that it's 70 cents there for packed cigarettes. This is from about, I believe, the 70s. Yeah. Um, but we thought it just went really well with all of Really cool. Yeah. Um, a few other things that are really, really neat, which I, uh, I always love sharing, um, is this uh, piece right here behind glass. That's actually a nervous disorders machine. So you hold the two leads at the end in your hands and you crank it, and it sends electric shock waves through your body. Good. And it still works. We all oh, tried it on. out when we bought the place. We tried it out. We did. It worked. And that's how we treated. How did it make you feel? It just was, you know, it's just kind of like a, just an electric wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So did it give you more anxiety? I was, um, it was, I was just it gave me a little too much anxiety because I was kind of, I'm like, what's going to happen? Well, sure. What's really going to happen? So, yeah. um, down below here, these are all, these are perfumes and makeups and, and shaving. Yes. Yeah. Shaving. So, so the shapes of these bottles. This is a homeopathic uh, re remedy cabinet that is full of, um, they're small, teeny, tiny balls that you see either dissolve into a liquid in like or a brush. Oh, or, wow. And every single bottle has a ailment on here. You can crush those up into like pills. Yep. Or yep. you can even throw those in your tonics yep. to dissolve. Yes, exactly. And drink it, drink exactly. a tonic down wow. here. Yep, yep. And there's so many tonics behind there. Yeah. And that's what they would, they would you know, mix, mix them with. with. Um, wow. You know, one of the things we have not found, which is kind of disheartening, are recipes on how to make some of these things. And I don't know that it's they are called recipes. They weren't called recipes. Sure. Yeah. Um, the you know, we love yeah. 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 things like that. But what we do have is uh, well over 100 years worth of prescriptions upstairs. That's, That's wow. Whoa. Just really cool. Wow. So, yeah. And you had mentioned earlier, you said you might do something with Yeah, this. we're we're kind of hoping to maybe um, line the walls of the bathrooms with the old with prescriptions, the which would be really kind of neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't want people to linger too long in the bathrooms. Sure. Don't get the ideas. But, yeah. Right. But it sure would be awesome to put those on display. Many of them have late 1800 dates on them. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it's, really so, it's so rare to have all these it things is. preserved yeah. like this. We're, and in such an impeccable condition. Impe impeccable condition. And you know, so much of Route 66 is history, yes. is nostalgia. Yeah. And it's not often you find as much nostalgia on the road as we have yeah. In you one know, place. In one place. You know, we. Your very own building. Because you can collect nostalgia yeah. from around the route. Yeah. But for you to be like, this has been at this spot, yeah. this yeah. location. This is Even a homegrown collection yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely so you obviously tell the history of this place really well and yeah. what's what's kind of your vision for the future and, and how to kind of bring new generations yeah. into this place well, and i don't know that there's so much a vision because you don't have to have a vision when you have something as fantastic as this so true. people are always going to come and want to see itself. it it yeah. speaks for yeah. itself you know a lot of what we do on route 66 um and i actually am the executive director of the byway so i oversee along with owning this place i oversee chicago all the way down to brooklyn Illinois That's and um, one of the things we focus on is education because those future travelers they're in sixth grade seventh grade high school yes. we've got to educate them and so many of them come in here and go whoa like this is really cool yes you know so I don't think we have to change much here I think we're going to have something that is going to attract people for years oh, and years yeah. and years and it speaks to the true meaning of Route 67. Yeah. So this was a small family ran business on a square that was a thriving Route 66 community, which has kind of fallen to the wayside through the years, like many Route 66 yeah. communities have. Absolutely. But when my husband and I bought this place, our goal was to not just buy this place and have a, a restaurant, yeah. but it was to help bring back the life that this community once yeah. had. This is one of the better things I've seen on the route in a while. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and there's so much out there to see. Mm -hmm. You know, you just have to take the time and stop and look in these little sure. small yes. communities because most Route 66 communities 
have a hidden gem. Yeah. And, and we say this is Gerard's hidden gem. That's, that's wonderful. Great. It that's definitely an, seems like it. It yeah. definitely does. And then that's indicative of America for us to slow down, mm -hmm. take a breather, go through the small towns, because that's what made America. Right. And you're, you're going to find something that you won't get on a major interstate yeah. or, you know, yeah. in mainstream America right now. Well, Casey, this has been so amazing talking to you. We, uh, we got to head to Litchfield. Yeah, you know, a little quick ride to Litchfield. Yeah. Back yeah. on the route. I but... think I should probably get you guys some sodas oh, or something. God. Oh, we would. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping. I hope to see you back. We'll we be will back. be back. Tell your friends. We will. Let's talk. get you some uh, soda for the road. We're not going to say no to that. Absolutely. All right. So that's it for Docs on 66, an incredible place. If you get a chance, we highly recommend coming to it. Absolutely. Right, we're going to head over to Litchfield and uh, have some more fun on the route. Let's hit the uh, Traveler. All right. All right. Cheers. Off.